Alright, so now what we're going to do is we need to add in a placeholder where we can add in the images on and the videos onto, sorry, so that it flops down as well and add some animation. So, um, as you will see, we've got you know this nice image here. Um, for some reason, actually, if we go back into placeholder one, you'll see that this shape layer um, isn't actually starting at zero seconds. So make sure you click on this and bring it to zero seconds. Okay, that's cool. And then what we want to do is we want our placeholder to start flopping in at about six seconds when this character just jumps on. So bring this over to, to six seconds. Then what we need to do is actually add in a composition behind the rectangle so that we can add our videos onto there. So to do that what we can do is copy this rectangle, so control C, and then come over in composition, new composition, and let's call this one um, place holder one add your video here. Click OK. Okay so if we hit control V we've got our rectangle and we can um, place our rectangle in here. Um, this one actually fits perfectly for this composition. Now if your composition um, you know maybe for example it's 200 by 200 to start off with then what you need to do is place your rectangle there and then go to composition settings and bring it up so that it kind of fits about the same size. Let's have a look. It's about 1226. Okay, something like that. That looks quite good and click OK. And then um, what we can do is position this rectangle C. That looks quite good. Cool. So you want to make sure that the rectangle is bigger than um, bigger than the composition because it's going to go behind there. So now what we can do is I'm going to grab a video, so let's go right click import file and I'm just going to grab this video and drop it in here to show you. Then we can scale that down, make it a bit smaller like so. And if we come over here, what we now, now need to do is go to compositions and we need to add in our um, placeholder one, add, it, add your video here underneath placeholder one, underneath the rectangle like so. So we can position it um, behind there like so make sure that it fits good I think it's perfect size that looks good if it's um, too small then obviously go back into comp this composition and make it a bit bigger um, and yeah like so so now what you want to do is we can come back over to scene 3 and we need to add in some expressions so first thing we want to do is make sure that placeholder 1 that the anchor points at the top so let's go and click on placeholder 1 grab the anchor point and place it at the top Let's have a look at this. Okay, so it's quite good about there. And then what we want to do is we need to add in some keyframes. So make sure that the timeline indicator is at six seconds. Click on placeholder one, drop transform down, and for the rotation, um, actually first we need to make it. Sorry, we need to make it 3D. So let's click on 3D and then drop down these properties. Now for X rotation, we need to make this about minus 81. Let's have a look at this. So you can't really see it, that looks good. Okay, and then click on X rotation and then bring it up about just over maybe about just over halfway to seven seconds, or about yeah, point six of a second, I guess. Um, and then what you want to do is bring it down to zero. So click on X rotation at zero. And that looks good. Now what we can do is add a quick expression. So download the expression next to this video. It's called placeholder flop expression and then right click copy or control C and then what we can do is um, alt and click on the stopwatch and control V um, to paste it in so now you have to see that we add in this nice kind of um, animation where it kind of wiggles at the end if you if you don't add in the expression it'll just come and stop without doing that kind of back and forth movement and we've got a video playing at the same time now when you if you you're probably going to have a background music for the main video so what you want to do is take off the audio from the placeholder um, because otherwise you'll have, you'll have two um, backing tracks going on at the same time it won't, look, won't sound that nice so um, yeah so that's how that works so this animation kind of flops in, in about seven seconds it's, it's still so what we want to do is leave our placeholder on for maybe about four seconds um, up to you so I'm going to leave that to four seconds and go to about eleven seconds then I'm going to click P for position and I'm going to move it off the screen so I'll place it about there and click and hold down shift and drag it off so at about about 
about there when the or maybe about yeah, about there we can have another placeholder flopping in so let's go to placeholder one we'll grab the same one within our project panel go to placeholder one and duplicate that so make so control D make another one and drop this in over here okay great and now we're gonna do is click and drag this to start off where our right there where the timeline indicator is okay so what we can do now is um, actually go into placeholder one and we're gonna copy the X rotation um, X rotation keyframe so click on X rotation here and hit control C and then come over to placeholder 2 and control V for paste and make this 3D as well first of all make it 3D and then actually um, bring up this as well to the top and then uh, control V to paste that in so now we've just added those same keyframes onto this one as well and we'll allow this one to stay there for a certain amount of time um, so it kind of flops in about 13 seconds I think it is where it kind of comes to a still about about 13 seconds so we'll leave it to about 17 seconds so another 4 seconds on there and then hit P for position click on the position stopwatch and bring it up just over half a second and whoops and then get the selection tool and click and drag it off maybe even make it a bit longer actually about to there cool so at about this point we want to add in our last one um, but first of all what we need to do is go to placeholder 2 and this placeholder here um, that we just we haven't actually duplicated it so it's, so it's the exact same one as placeholder 1 for as you can see it says placeholder 1 add your video here so what we need to do is actually um, duplicate this one and and we need to add the second one into here so let's go ahead and delete that one and drop this one in here like so okay and position that the reason why we're doing that is because if we don't um, actually duplicate this one then this this placeholder one will be in each of the placeholders and so the same video will be playing and we won't be able to have three videos so um, this allows us to have a separate folder so we can add a different video onto that um, if that makes sense to you so I'm just going to rename this placeholder 2 hit enter okay and what we can do I'll just show you so I'll take off I've come to placeholder 2 I'll delete that video let's go right click import file and I'll grab another video see if I've got one in here okay something like yeah maybe this one just grab this for an example drop this in here and come over here drags across a bit more okay and we also will need to create a different description one so that's that's going to be the same description because it's the same folder so if placeholder 2 um, we need to duplicate description 1 to over where is it I think we put in edit compositions or maybe it's in the main ones okay here it is here so duplicate that and then delete description 1 and drop that in there and place this at the bottom as well so if we come over here we can change that text up by getting the text tool and let's say description 2 control enter there we are okay cool and as you'll be able to see there's our second video we've got now and at the beginning if we come over here we've got our first video there and then the second one is this different one here okay cool so that one comes on at um, 13 seconds I think it is it's, yeah about 13 seconds so it goes to 17 seconds and then this one flops off so at about about there we'll add in the, the final one so let's go to placeholder 2 and we need to actually duplicate that so we go to here control D to duplicate and drop that in and then drag this across okay cool and then what we want to do is get the anchor point and place the anchor point at the top okay that's quite good and then we can just go back again into these um, controls get the X rotation click on that but first we'll make sure that's 3D and then click on that control C and then just click on the layer and control V and that will add in that keyframe those keyframes okay so it's looking good 
and then what we can do is we don't actually need to um, bring this off because we're going to create another flop that comes in so um, what we can do is um, we need to change placeholder 3 we need to come in and actually change these parts as well again so placeholder 2 we need to make duplicate that to make it um, a placeholder 3 so I'm going to click on this so that we can add a different video in so placeholder 3 and we'll delete this one and drop this one in over here behind the rectangle okay so if I go on to and actually upload another video place it into content right click import file desktop find a video okay cool so I've got a video here and I'll drop this one into um, placeholder 3 add your video here and I'll delete that one and drop the video in here like so okay cool and there we are so that looks nice um, description 2 we need to delete that one and actually grab um, duplicate whoops hit delete whoops not delete there delete on this placeholder and duplicate that one here so control D and drop in description 3 over above the rectangle and position it on there like so let's come in here and we'll change the text up to description 3 there we go that's looking good and as you'll be able to see now we've changed those placeholders description 3 we've got description 2 and different videos on each of them as well so this is yeah that's basically how you create this slide um, what we're going to do in the next uh, video is we're actually going to finish it off by creating an iPad and we're going to create that flop again and then creating iPad and um, the contact slide so that's basically how you create this um, I know it was a bit confusing I guess some of the things we go through but um, just go through it slowly and create your um, your placeholders